Okay, we have a motion um, on the floor to approve the offer to purchase real property. Madam Chair, sure we have a motion before, a motion and a second to come out of closed session. Okay, motion and a second to come out of uh, closed session to approve uh, real property. Just and to come out of closed just session. To just to come out of closed session, okay. All right, can we move forward? On that motion. Okay, all right. <laughs> Aye. Aye. All right, thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. The vote was unanimous. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was unanimous. Now you're in the hey. open session and you can hey. conduct the business. I've been working for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> very long time. Okay, we need then now a motion to approve um, the offer to purchase the real property there um, on first. What are the exact numbers in 721 and 724? 721 and 703. Make the motion that we approve an offer to purchase 721 and 703 First Avenue at a combined rate, at a total rate of $25,000. Pursuant to close mm -hmm. as soon as possible. Oh, yeah. That's your close session. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Second. Discussion. Who, 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 um, wait, did you say 20? Did you say 20,000 or did you say 25? 25. Uh, so total, total of 25. That's last year. Okay. The questions, discussion, all in favor? Aye. 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 Nay. I said it. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Moving on. Okay, uh, our next, um, we're going to ha have just a few minutes of uh, discussion on community relations uh, day proposal from health and um, wellness group. We just want, um, we heard a little bit uh, about the community relations day and then we probably heard a little bit more about it in the community. So uh, we just wanted to have just a um, discussion, some questions uh, answered um, by Commissioner Cho who is working with um, with that group, so we're going to discuss that for uh, just a, just a few minutes, and then we will be exiting. So um, the first uh, question, and then so we won't have to go into all of that. Just maybe that's it. So, what is the um, purpose of Community Relations Day, as you understand it? Okay, so the first part of it is as a proclamation, um, so that it will be consistent and done annually to recognize um, leadership from the, within the community and kind of make that something sustainable. That's the first part. Okay. So that's what the proclamation will be. Now, what is the purpose of community to, to recognize leadership in the community? Yes, leadership okay. on an annual basis, yeah. Okay, recognize leadership in the community. Okay. All right, um, who, is the, who is the main sponsor? Well, we don't have a main sponsor yet. So, okay. I mean, the city is sponsoring. sponsors. Is, right, so we're soliciting sponsors. So can I, um, go ahead, you ask the questions and I'll answer as okay. best I can. All right, so, um, there's no main sponsor. You were soliciting sponsors. Yeah, there's no main sponsor as of yet. Okay. Was, is there a requirement for a main sponsor or is it just... Or I don't think it's a requirement. We haven't kind of fessed that out yet. So we're trying to figure out, um, you know, what the cost will be. So we're still working, you know, with NCCU. Um, okay. And part of this, so the community relations part, this has been done before. I mean, there's been a community relations day, so this is making it a proclamation via the city um, it would make it, again, an annual event that happens on the third Saturday of November. And within, you know, within this event, um, this will be, a, again, a series of engagement opportunities. So that's what we've been trying to create, for example, with the lecture series. Um, so this will be another chance for community to get together, celebrate leadership during this proclamation, have this proclamation, and also have um, things happening within the event, creating space for black and brown um, or people of color in the community. Um, so it'll be at Lawson's Creek, which was thought to be um, you know, a central location. And it'll be um, advertised to everybody within the city. Part of Excuse me, what time is the oh. three to five. Three to five would be um, the event, but we wanted to have a movie um, night as well attached to it, if possible. Okay. Um, so that's what we're working on with uh, Parks and Rec. So they're they're one of our partners, um, and so during this kind of creating space series, this being one one event, um, is to encur encourage community health and wellness, like we've been talking about, which is part of our goal five. 
Um, so again, with intentionality, um, creating opportunities for, um, you know, talking about what health and wellness is, what it means to the community. We're actually um, reaching out to uh, the Craven Arts Council so we can perhaps create a piece of art and installation. Um, you know, we're, we're asking what does wellness mean to you? What does health mean to you? What does self-care mean to you? And part of that, um, you know, we could take that and actually put it in front of the Mercator House. So it's a way, again, of um, engaging the community and, um, you know, and, and doing something that is, um, you know, in, that is driven and giving opportunities from people from within the community. Um, we'll also talk about, um, we'll provide resources, so the hospital will be there, um, the um, health department will be there, Mercy Clinic will be there, Habitat, um, NCCU, this, um, I'm hoping that Jasmine, we're trying to herd all those cats in, um, you know, will come down with students mm -hmm. and do the health assessment. Let me ask you a ask, um, ask, um, question, because trying to make it succinct so that we don't, you sure. know. Um, so what is the role of the health and wellness uh, group in this effort? How do you see the health and wellness? And then after, after that is, what is, how do you, what is the role uh, or how do you see the role as the full commission? But first, I want to know uh, the health and wellness part. And I heard some of it in what you were saying, but I wanted to. Right. Well, I mean, the whole the whole focus will be on health and wellness. So that's our, you know, and we're the liaisons for the community for that. And you know, as the commission uh, as a whole, I mean, I think that you know we're being held accountable, hopefully by the sit by you know residents and community to kind of listen to what they have to say, you know, as a commission, and um, and move forward with those types of with their input. I mean, that's how I view that. Okay. So, and a lot of this, again, looks at social determinants of health. So, you know, you're talking about improving, um, you know, and restoring the quality of life um, in an area that's been blighted. So I think that, you know, when I see, when I see an event like this, I'm looking at all of us as a commission. I mean, we're, you know, we're making those connections, but I really do see the commission being there. I also see, you know, I'm hoping that during, um, you know, that um, tribute to Ms. Barbara Lee that, you know, we'll be, I'm hoping that we'll all be there, you know, if you can make it on November 20th from 3 to 5. And if people have questions about housing, if they have questions about neighborhoods, if they have questions, you know, certainly about what our initiative is. I mean, we're looking at this from a holistic point of view. Okay. So when you ask that, we'll be there, um, will the commission have a, uh, have a table, have a role, yeah, I mean, I have, would a see speaking, that. have a speaking role, have a yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that we, I haven't gotten to those finite mm -hmm. details yet. Okay. But, but yes, uh -huh. yes, right. I mean, like, it'd be great if you could say a few words. I mean, that's, um, you know, that's what we're working at now. Okay. Um, we've already reached out to the Sun Journal. Um, we had, um, uh, you know, spoke to Colleen today to see if, how we can get on Channel 3. I know they have a, um, you know, they have like a, I guess, sit, City Hall happenings. I, I wrote it down, I don't have it in front of me, but. This week at City Hall. This week at City Hall, so we could discuss that mm -hmm. um, uh, up until the time of the event. And so that's free advertising for us. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Just one, one thought process. I have a little bit of a concern that we're going three to five, and on November 20th, it's dark at 4.30, quarter to five. Yeah, that's what so. the, I guess for the movie, that's why. I mean, it'll kind of lead up to that, that, okay. um, that movie night. Okay. So. Just didn't know if you wanted to maybe. Want to be involved, yeah. So well, I mean, you know, start a little. Or I'm just sure, concerned exactly. for maybe even older people that might not want to be out at, you know, as it's getting dark. And I don't know how long if you're having programming or speaking yeah, or so whatever. Yeah, so speaking. And then one of the things that we are kind of was there'll be a kids corner. So there'll be parks and records providing, um, you know, activities, and they have multiple um, activities that they have to offer. Um, you know, from, from their mobile um, resource unit. And the Block Captains um, program has, you know, through neighborhood revitalization, have been making suggestions that they've heard, um, you know, from, from members of um, Greater Duffield Field, you know, as far as activities for kids. So we're working, taking part um, of that main Lawson's Creek field and using it just for, for um, the kids. Okay. Um, so as far as elderly or elders are concerned, and you know, we're having um, hopefully a sit um, sit back and learn session. I've reached out to Alista um, Sumner and uh, you know to talk about nutrition and so that way you can um, you know come and go. I mean I've seen that done at other types of events like a ghost walk or um, you know the battlefield tours where you just set up chairs or set up a tent and um, and you know they can be um, you know she can do this program every 30 minutes. It's only a couple of hours total and then people can come and go and listen. So I haven't. Those are all details that we're kind of working out now. So, okay. and NCCU is helping us with that. Okay. So, all right. So, um, 
Someone else had a question? Card, Sundurano, Kiss, um, the New York Police Department, um, the village um, that's on Broad Street has a lot of um, youth. Do mm -hmm. Thank you. Any other questions? Commissioner yeah. Tripp. I had a couple questions. Um, I know I'm sort of going back. I could probably take it off on, but I'm just going to ask quickly. Um, for the sponsorships, are, are there, is there going to be food? Or yes, we'll have food there? trucks. So we'll have food trucks there. So um, those are, they'll actually be paid? They'll be paid, okay. yeah. So that was a question why we kind of um, what led us to asking for the proclamation. Uh, we kind of worked backwards because there's a, I think it's a $45 um, permit fee um, for food trucks, and if it's a city-sponsored event, I think it's $35. So we were trying to determine how that would look, and um, so we just kind of worked backwards. And um, and also, it would be nice to have a proclamation. So, okay. Other questions? Sure you need to get that because the board needs to vote on that. Yes, yeah, so November 9th. Yes. So it's on the agenda for that. Night. I am. Um, that's okay. what. Uh, yeah, Brenda reached out to me. So okay. That's why I wanted to. I wanted to. You know, Jeff mentioned. Um, I guess several weeks ago that we'd have to have this discussion before I went ahead. And when I emailed um, the aldermen about it and the mayor, they're totally in support. I mean, I know yourself and mm -hmm. Alderman Best and Alderman Harris and the mayor, um, and that's why Brenda mm -hmm. reached out. Okay. Okay. Another question. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes of I was just trying to get it, so if yeah. I can offer support, I can. Yes. So the um, as far as the sponsorships, who? Or would you actually submit a check for funds or donations to? Would it go to the redevelopment commission, or where does it go? Yeah, I have to. I have to ask. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't. Um, well, you know, let me just be very transparent with you. So we're working with Crystal Taylor, who was a young woman that came down that time. Um, uh, she does community coordination of these events, so she's willing to help us. Of course, she has a fee, so that would go. And that's another conversation. Um, you know, she'll provide us a budget. So that is why I, you know, we want to look for sponsorships as opposed to, um, you know, asking the Redevelopment Commission because I, you know, know how you all feel about that. So, so it's not a local organization sponsored like Habitat or um, Duffield Residence Council or. But we're, we're going to be. So we're looking for more than one sponsorship. We, we haven't, like I said, we haven't determined. How that would look. I think I'm really talking about partners rather than sponsorships. I think you might be confusing. No, sponsorship no, no. usually denotes money. Money. No, I'm, yeah, yeah. No, no I don't say that like a head, you know, like, um, like, you know, we sponsored Doug Fest for years under the Greater Duffield Residence Council. We got money from all these, you know, right. other people, but we was, it was our event. Okay. And so that's why, that's why I was asking it. So it's not, per se habitats of being or abundant life ministries of being is <coughs> right. or y'all haven't gotten to that part. Right. Well there's no title no sponsor, market. so we okay. haven't approached anybody for any monies yet. So um, you know, that was something we were just we haven't been provided that budget from them. As far as um, you know, the food trucks, everything else, um, right now there's really there hasn't been any cost to sign, so that's what we're trying to determine. Okay. So we, when we you know when we talked about um, Advertising, they were looking for a grant through um, the paper, so uh, that's something that was great. Um, so, I mean, we have, um, you know, Parks and Rec supplying the actual, um, you know, the actual kids' corner activity. So there's no cost there, and they'll be helping us with providing the stage and things like that. Um, uh, we have to get a permit, so we might have to pay for that. But the one thing that we talked about today was entertainment, and so Crystal was saying that she has a connection to music. Um, at this point, they're, they're, she would take care of that. So she's been Is very Crystal generous. Crystal the sort of um, project coordinator. Yes, that's exactly what that's she is. Okay. And I will. And her name is Crystal. Crystal Taylor. And so I had asked her for a letter of intent. Um, you know, she we discussed a budget today, but until I get her letter of intent and something on a formal piece of paper, I'm not going to present it yet because I just still feel like. Who, I um, who else is part of the committee? Um, so it's John and myself. Um, it is um, neighbor revitalization. Um, Antoinette. Antoinette Bosky. Uh huh. Um, NCCU, uh, Abundant Life Ministries, and Pastor Holmes has been involved. Um, Carts. I mean, they're not really, but they're just community, they're, they're partners. So, um, but y'all meet to yes. together. Yes, so we've, been, we've met that one time, okay. and we haven't met again. The police department will be there. Um, so those are our, those are our partners. Okay. All right. Just wanted to get some background so that the committee, I mean, the commission could kind of 
see what was going on and uh, understand it. Um, There's a lot of moving parts. Um, but <laughs> it is, um, so what are you asking uh, from us? It's nothing that we need to, um, to approve. It, uh, is the New Development Commission's logo will be on the flyer? I'm, I'm just, I'm, you know, just asking so that the commission can know kind of where we are, what's going on, and and all of that. And you certainly can bring. That, I mean, well, when we come back, it'll be that week, won't it? What is the day? Yeah, I'm hoping that when I get the um, when I get Crystal's home meeting, the ninth. Okay, oh, the ninth. You got enough time. Ninth yeah. or tenth. The tenth we're meeting. The ninth is the older meeting. Right. Yeah. The yeah. Tenth. So. Okay. Um, so I, when I get her proposal and um, all the other um, the letter of intent, what I would like to do, um, I know we were going to talk, I, I was hoping that Jeff and I and all of us can talk, but what I'd like to do is something similar to what Dr. Caldwell did, so you're all on the same page, is get her up on the screen and, um, you know, let her, because um, I'm probably not getting all the nuances of this, but um, I don't do this, but she does it. Um, so in this way, if you have any questions about that. Okay. All right. So let's put let's um. I think uh, the commission should. Oh, I'm sorry. And this this just on a little late to the game asking the question. Are we no. okay doing something outside of our boundary, something along this nature? Because I just pulled the map up and technically this is outside of our new development zone. I know it's just on the edge, but technically it's right outside of. Why are we doing anything? Okay. Yes. Yeah, double checking because it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a place of people. I mean, we're inviting the community that's in the redevelopment area, but right. you know, we are limited to where we can host things like this. So, uh, you know, <laughs> it's outside. Well, just yeah. clarify for me again: what is the ob objective, objective of this? Yeah. Okay. So, the, for the um, proclamation, it's to become a sustainable event by honoring a leader from within the community annually, and it's to encourage health, community health and wellness intentionally and creatively, uplift, inspire. Um, communities of color, create space, um, unite people, hold us accountable, and introduce educational platforms related to health and wellness. Those are the things that I jotted down. And gain information, right? So we're gaining information as to how we're moving forward with the building at some point. That's really the main objective. To do programming for the Macabre House. The Macabre program, okay. Yeah. And then we're also having collateral conversations about that. So I have emailed um, Jeff and Theresa this week, um, you know, on um, recommendation of Dr. Fisher. Um, you know, a meeting with Scott Harrelson. So that will be coming up. So, so that's another goal. Okay. It's community engagement is the is the big part of this. Okay. So. Well, um, our the the last uh, question before we exit: Are are you expecting the commission to pay for Ms. Taylor, or are you raising money for her? Well, I'd like to. I'm going to present the budget because I want to know what you all think. And See, I, I would. It would be nice, but if you choose not to, then I will for sponsorships. I mean, so will you be able to have that budget like at our next meeting on the? I'm 10th? hoping before. So that's what okay. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Um, yeah, we had some discussion of it today, um, but I'd like to get the letter of intent. I'd like to have all my ducks in a row before I just piecemeal this. It's just better that way. Yeah. All right. All right. So, so um, like I said, it was really just a discussion, so sure. that our commission could hear um, basically what what that is and where uh, we are, what's our role and responsibility uh, in it. It's nothing that we vote on to say, you know, we don't want to do it, we don't want to be a part of it, we, you know, as far as I know, is that correct? We don't, it's nothing to vote on. We can't in a special call yeah. meeting unless it's on the agenda yeah. that we're going to take action. So uh, that's basically uh, what it was, but certainly as, as you get more um, information uh, please let us know. But the main thing we wanted to make sure that it was related to health and you know wellness and how health and wellness was was. Uh, oh yeah, all the resources will re be related to health and wellness. All the activities are related to health and wellness. I mean, you know, some of them are abstract, um, innovative, um, you know, not typical, but um, they're all related to that. You look perplexed. I just want to make sure that you're okay. <laughs> no, I that this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Um, yeah, if anybody has any other uh, questions, if you just send them out to the group and send it to all so that everybody would have um, the opportunity to, to, to see and, and, and understand exactly what's going on. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Okay. All right. Uh, if there's nothing else to hold our attention, could we have a
a motion to adjourn. So moved. You might as well. I was supposed to say second. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Again, thank you all so much. Thank you, uh, Commissioner Chuck. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. We're getting your thing working. Yeah. <laughs>